Welcome back to the beautiful island of Sri Lanka and join us as we take you through a rough daily routine or two of our lives living in the south coast. Before we get into this video I just want to take the time to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched our latest video which was about my three year burnout and thank you to everyone who has commented and direct messaged me. There have been some incredible messages and comments that have just given me a motivational push. You guys are honestly incredible and we are so lucky and so grateful to have such an amazing online community here. Going forward, we have a lot of plans, a lot of video plans of what we'd like to bring to you and lots of Mandy <laughs> and lots of uh, videos coming your way very very soon. I'm not sure if I can promise one video per week. I will try my best. It's just that the editing process takes me a really long time sometimes but I will try. But what I'm really excited about is something I've decided to add into the mix. So I am going to be creating an extra video. It's exclusive content for our Patreon and channel members so it's going to be like a shorter kind of video maybe around five to ten minutes each week of behind the scenes more up-to-date raw content you can just dive deeper into our lives and be more connected and present with us so i'm really excited for that and i hope you are too so I usually wake up at around 6 to 6.30 a.m. I wish I could sleep in longer really, but my mind just won't allow it. After releasing the dogs, I then go and wake up the chickens and they're always so eager to get going outside. And it's so funny to watch them rush out frantically. otherwise I'm pretty much useless and this is something I recently changed in my routine because before I used to get up and go straight to working on the laptop but now I'm trying to take the first hour of each morning to myself to just sit and contemplate and be present. I'll usually do a bit of kitchen tidy up after that as somehow it always gets a bit messy and it stresses me out a lot if the house is untidy. And then I'll make some ice trays ready to go into the freezer as it's so hot in Sri Lanka at the moment and I also find it quite therapeutic doing so. Next I'll wake up Lahiru as he always has a bit of a lion and then I'll get going doing some work editing videos, answering emails or direct messages, organising bookings and to-do lists. Azura. Azura. Excuse me, I need to do some work now. up to a beautiful morning actually we're having a bit of a later day today it's now around nine o'clock usually we have a really early start but i think all of the action that's been going on in our lives is just catching up with us so we took it easy this morning but we're heading out now to do some rehoming vaccines because that's what we do for animal sos we do a lot of the adoption program and part of that is going to the homes and giving annual vaccinations and flea and tick treatment that kind of thing so that's what we're doing today it's a beautiful day it's blue sky and yeah just going out on our scooter because we have a scooter now. <laughs> it feels so nice to be out and about on a scooter again. Like when we go out in the tuk-tuk, I also really love it, but it's just a different vibe when you're on a scooter and I'm not driving. <laughs> I'm not driving, Lahiru is driving because I don't feel very confident driving a scooter, riding a scooter. So I do like the majority of the tuk-tuk driving because I really love it. And I feel safe driving the tuk-tuk. I just feel a lot more vulnerable, so I'm happy for Lahiru to take the lead on this one, and he 
everybody enjoys riding the scooter. <laughs> Plus another reason why we're taking the scooter today and not the tuk-tuk is because I broke the clutch, the gear thing. <laughs> the cable has snapped or something, so we have to try and take it into town and get it repaired, which we should probably do really soon. It needs a full service and everything since our tuk-tuk tournament. Actually, we haven't had it serviced in ages. Like, that's pretty bad. So we're gonna get that done soon, and then it will be all ready to go again for the next adventure. talk more about adopting an animal in a different video as it's super amazing to be able to give a dog or cat a loving home instead of them being stuck outside on the streets not knowing what love is or having access to food and water but that's for another time we really love being a part of the adoption program as it's wonderful to see a dog or cat having a great home and good life and through adopting an animal through animal sos all medical treatment is free for that animal for its rest of its life including vaccinations. So if you're interested in adopting, please get in touch. So far we have done four dogs vaccinations and we've been to many other houses and the people are not there, I guess because it's Sunday today, so maybe everyone's gone to the temple, but it's still really wonderful to drive around Everyone is like living in the rural countryside area and we're just surrounded by rice paddies. It's so beautiful. I forgot how amazing it is to just like drive around on a scooter in the sun and just take it all in. We're really, really lucky to live where we do. now back home after a very successful morning of doing the boosters, the annual boosters and vaccines and giving the tick, flea, worm medicine, blah blah blah. I don't actually know how many dogs we did but quite a lot and I've definitely caught the sun being on the back of a scooter. We're now making breakfast slash lunch for our guest. They've just had a surf session this morning and we're serving breakfast for their lunch so they don't miss out on the lovely food that Lahira cooks. I'm Still uploading a video here. It's been going for ages. Our Wi-Fi is currently being really, really slow. So it's taking a long time for our videos to upload. And then I think we'll probably head back out later. Maybe go to the beach or relax in the garden. I kind of want to take it easy today. I was just saying to Rue, I wonder where all the chickens are laying their eggs. Because we haven't really seen like an abundant source of them recently. And usually they are laying quite regularly. And then I was just looking at it. And then I was just looking over thinking like, does she want to lay an egg or is there some sort of danger? And then the hero's like, oh my God, so many eggs. And they've literally just like got one area where they've put all of their eggs, just really randomly.
I am up nice and early this morning. The sun is rising, it's beautiful, the birds are all singing, and I'm here with Drizzle Kumari. We went up the land just now, it's so beautiful and we're figuring out for our next project which is really exciting and hopefully we can bring it to you soon but we're very early stages yet so we're just taking it as it comes but um yeah that's really really exciting and we're hoping to kind of get started today with that but i'm not going to be videoing that for this video because it will be in a renovation video hopefully coming your way very soon but I thought today I would do some house planting because my plants that I bought and have been propagating and then replanted, they're all growing so, so well. So I need to do some snippings and then propagate more and hopefully we can expand our lovely flower garden. And I also want to do some painting, which I'll show you where soon. I really like this one, I like the purples, the dumb pattern. Welcome to our new patio area, as you would have seen in one of our recent videos. And here we've planted lots of plants, like house plants that I've been propagating and kind of like making adult plants from baby plants. So now the baby plants that are now adult plants are now like really, really big. So I want to take snippings of them and see if I can grow more because I really love these plants. And they're really easy to grow and keep. Yeah, so this one was actually a snipping. So the mother plant is hanging up there. And then I did some snippings and propagating and now this one is really full and I want to take more snippings of this one because it's like overhanging and growing really quite a lot. Yay! So now we have two and I think we can actually like cut them a little bit and I want to plant some of them in water because that's what I did before and then the roots are really encouraged to grow with the water and then some I'm going to put in pots to see how they grow. Yeah, just this one. So I have my three pots that have got some soil in but I don't have any compost at the moment so we'll just put that in another time. <laughs> and I've also got some glass jars, bottles that I've been saving so I can upcycle them and I really like to put the snippings in these little water jars because they look super cute and just really nice to put on shelves in the home and it's worked out really well before with me doing that because I did it with this one and the monstera plant and the roots grew super super quick and then from there once the roots have more substance to them you can then plant them in pots which is what I did and they're all thriving super super good so that's what I'm going to do now I'm just going to figure out what I'm doing can you see that there's all those roots already on there? They just come, they're like nodes. What do you call them? Nodes or there's another word for the roots. But that's perfect. There's loads of them together. So I'm putting those in this pot with soil. And then this one I'm going to put in my water jar, but not as big as this one. It is another productive day here at the house and at our home today. <laughs> we have just had a guest checkout today, so now is the time. Well, I've just done the reset of the house, but I'm taking this time to use the washing machine because we really have one washing machine and it's located in the guest side of the home, so we can offer the washing machine facility. But it just means that when we have guests here, we can't do like a proper wash ourselves. Well, I mean, you can do it by hand, of course, but there's nothing quite like having your own washing machine. So I'm just getting all of that stuff done, all the laundry and the reset is done. And we also have a project going on at the moment, which I'm not gonna say anything because I don't wanna jinx any plans that we have until 
I know that it's safe to talk about it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And I just wanted to take this time to check in with you guys, really, and ask how are you doing? I hope that so far 2024 is treating you well and that you're happy and healthy wherever you're watching this video from. In the last episode, I, uh, I spoke about the struggles that I'm having at the moment and, um, and yeah, just like how I'm coping basically and I just want to let you know that I'm doing okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for the concern and the positive comments and everything. And yeah, I'm trying to notice when I am going into a low mood and when I know that's happening, I then try to bring in mindfulness and gratitude and a positive outlook. So then I don't go too deep into a low mood and just, yeah, try to stay positive really. And yeah, if you've watched all that video, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for listening to me ramble on. It wasn't like the easiest video to make, but I had to do it. Anyway, yeah, getting on with the laundry and then gonna start, I actually have to do all the watering of the garden because we're not having any rain at the moment. And so I need to keep on top of all of our potted plants because they need extra care in dry season. So I'm gonna do that and then on with the next project. I've been down, I've been everywhere. editing to be done like there's never a time when I don't have a video to edit so I'm now gonna jump on the time is ah, it's nearly one o'clock so it's very hot outside so I was debating shall I do something outside or should I just take an hour or two to do some editing and I think I'll stay inside because it's just like quite unbearable in the heat sometimes so I need to get editing done that is what I'm gonna do and this new little kitchen space that we've created doubles up as the perfect desk also because I don't have a desk space inside. We only have the patio space outside, but it's just too hot, <laughs> even with the shade. So this is like a perfect, like, I love that when we create something that's multi-purposeful, if that makes sense, like you can use it for different things. It doesn't just have to be a kitchen. It can be a table, a workspace, anything you like it to be really. I've been trying really hard recently to take some time out of each day, even if it's just like 30 minutes or an hour or like not even eating time, like time that I can just take for myself and do pretty much nothing, whether that's sunbathing, <laughs> because it's nice to just get a little bit of sun here and there, obviously protected, and just sit there with some thoughts, thinking and reflecting. I find it super important and really helpful for me. It's kind of like my meditation time almost, but without being like really deep in meditation, because I'm really not good at meditating. I'm trying, but <laughs> it's taking a while. Or whether that's like sitting at the laptop but not doing any work and learning a new skill. So I really like doing that. I'm really trying to perfect night photography. I really wanna get more into that. And also how to be like more productive. So everything that I'm trying to do in my free time is things that can improve me and improve my mentality and like in a positive way so even though i'm not doing anything i am still doing something if that makes any sense <laughs> it might not make any sense at all but it makes sense to me so yeah today i'm just gonna sit and chill in the sun for a little bit of time i've just made myself a green juice with a little squeeze of lemon and just relax for a moment when we're trying to tackle low mood 
the tendency is to focus on everything we don't want to think and feel. I'm currently about halfway through this Audible book named Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before by Dr. Julie Smith. It's a really good listen which is really relevant to my current life. She talks about the skills we need to get through all of life's ups and downs, filled with secrets from a therapist's toolkit. The way she explains things, getting the listener to think about the way they think, which we would never naturally do because we're always so caught up in our thoughts that we don't tend to think about how we got to that thinking. The book is full of powerful coping techniques which helps you to navigate through life's challenges. If that book isn't really your thing, then there's thousands of other titles to choose from also. And there's not just audibles, there's podcasts, audible originals, and sleep and meditation tracks too. Once you're a member, you get one credit per month. So you can choose a book from the bestsellers list, and that audiobook is yours to keep forever. So you don't need to feel like you have to rush through a book or a listen. You can just listen at your own pace, which is what I really like to do. The memberships are affordable and if you need to cancel, you can do for free anytime. If you click the link in our description box below, you will get 30 day free trial, which you'll instantly get a credit for the Audible book of your choice. And by using our custom link, it also means you're supporting our channel. Thanks for listening and hope you check it out and hope that it benefits you as much as it's benefiting me. My next job of the day, I want to paint this area here, which is our new bathroom. So we have converted our storage space, our storage room, into a bathroom by putting up this dividing wall and then installing a toilet and a sink which has our washing in that I have to do the dishes. <laughs> but I really want to paint this space because we haven't painted it in a long time because it's always just a room that we hold things in. But now I want it to be a nice space when we come to brush our teeth or go to use the toilet it's a nice little area to be and we have this storage shelf which you might remember we kind of renovated it a while ago and it just holds loads of different things on so we have a like, first shelf is well the top shelf is like extra like electrical items then we have the kitchen stuff then we have bathroom stuff then we have like a few more bathroom things and dog supplies and then the bottom shelf is tools so i've tidied that up today and we're going to add a nice hanging blanket sheet here as like the kind of door to the shelving unit which will separate into the bathroom it just make it look a little bit better you know so yeah that's what i'm going to get on working with now is the painting so yeah we basically made this bathroom because we are doing Airbnb, so our other side, which is the renovated side of our home, which has got our bathroom and shower and everything, is obviously in use by guests most of the time. So we needed our own shower and bathroom on this side of the home. So basically, if you think about it, our home is now split into two. So we've got the side that we're in, which is the unrenovated side, and the guest side, which is the renovated side. So. Anyway, bathroom is here, toilet and sink. Sink also doubles up as a kitchen sink because our kitchen is in the main area. We've got two workspaces now and then we can just come in here and do all of our dishes, which is perfect. And then outside here is our outside shower. It doesn't look the most beautiful thing, but it does the job and we have upgraded the floor but it's quite dirty at the moment because we've been doing gardening and everything and the chickens have been having a lot of fun in that space today. So it's super muddy, so I'm not gonna show you that in too much detail, but yeah, this is what I'm working on today is our inside bathroom space. <laughs> want to move away from what we don't want, it helps to know where we do want to go instead.
literally as red as a beetroot and as wet like I just took a dip in the sea. Oh my god, it's so humid and I forgot I had sun lotion on. So that was kind of really uncomfortable run. And I got to like the four kilometre mark and the bottom of my right foot got cramp and my left hip is painful again. I remember the days I used to run in London and I used to do five kilometres in under 30 minutes. And now I've just done less than five kilometres in over 30, like 31 minutes. And I did walk like a tiny bit of the way. <laughs> oh, I literally could die right now. I'm so tired. But I feel so good, even though it's so painful and tiring. I feel so good. My body needs this in my life. But I reckon tomorrow <laughs> I'll be in so much pain I won't be able to do it again. I probably should have capped at three kilometres today and keep building up slowly but I just like to push myself and around our area it's so hilly so it's not like you're just running straight it's up down up down all the time see you in the next video where we will be celebrating our one year wedding anniversary Woohoo! remember if you're interested in seeing more from us like early access and exclusive content including the extra video per week then head over to our patreon page or join our channel memberships i'll leave the links to those in the description box below thanks for being here as always guys bye